Welcome to another video from the Outdoor Analyst. Today I've got a fun one for you. Today I've got pretty much what I would consider to be one of my favorite EDC carries of all time. And that is uh, thanks to Demco Knives. The wonderful designer and uh, maker of knives who brought you pretty much everything good that is from Cold Steel, uh, Andrew Demko and his uh, brother. They kind of branched out on their own. They've been creating some really cool custom pieces and then some actual just production knives uh, for the last, I don't know, maybe five, ten years. And then last year, I think it was about a little over a year now, um, they came out with a thinner version of the 8020 and the 8020.5. And this is kind of like the EDC knife we always wanted because the full-size brother was absolutely huge. And um, it was a little too much for pretty much most people on EDC. Um, you know, I, I've had several of them. The one I actually ended up keeping was the slim version of the uh, 8020, just because it was much lighter and much thinner. I actually had the titanium version of that knife. Let's just kind of compare them here. So it doesn't seem like it's really that much bigger. And this is the slim version. It's just kind of a little smaller in form. But imagine this was a whole lot thicker and a whole lot heavier. <laughs> and that does play a huge difference for EDC. So the uh, the slim version, I absolutely love in Grivery. I had the titanium full size in 3V and just it was just way too heavy. The size of it is okay, but the weight was just for gosh darn ridiculous and I just couldn't stand it. So that's kind of the comparison between the full size, if that's what you're really looking at. It is a pretty big difference. If you have the slim and in Grivery, the weight to the titanium is actually not that, that dissimilar. I think this is 4.3 ounces. This is just about the same. And it's just absolutely ginormous and takes up a lot in your pocket. And let's get to the clip. It is a spoon clippy here and it does stick out a good amount above your pocket. So just know this isn't gonna be super deep carry. Um, to me, I think that's just fine. These are work knives to me. I carry them all the time. I have had the Grivery versions and fell in love with them. Um, honestly, I was surprised how much I would like the actual, uh, what do they call this, like the shark blade or whatever. This thing works really, really well. It's basically just a souped up worn cliff is what it really is. And it cuts fantastically. I have moved. <laughs> few times finally settled where we need to be and these are have actually just been cutting like crazy for me just because of the move uh, boxes beyond boxes tape beyond tape and they are not the absolute greatest steel it's aus 10 um if you just have the regular versions and i love it aus 10 has been great i've been very impressed kind of reminds me of like um 154 cm Honestly, I haven't been able to tell the difference in retention from that. I've cut crazy amounts of boxes with this knife specifically. After several days of moving, tons of tape, it still had a great edge to it. I just zipped it up, just dropped it up a little bit, and it was back to hair popping sharp really fast. So it reminded me a lot of 154CM as far as retention goes. So very, very good. And then I've, I've done the same thing with this. This has just been kind of my EDC all the time. Still, there's still tape and stuff on these. They're dirty, they're used, and they are fan-freaking-tastic. Now, I know this isn't like an in-depth review of the Shark Lock. I mean, come on, the Shark Lock, everybody knows what it is. This is the most ambidextrous knife there is. It is one of the strongest locking mechanisms. Thanks, it's a Demco. Come on, what do you expect from the guy that literally creates the strongest locking mechanism out there? It is so fast, so fun. Yes, you can just, it's just so buttery smooth. This is a knife made in Taiwan. Well, we'll see how long Taiwan's with us. So these may be collector's items soon. <laughs> but they're incredibly smooth. Absolutely incredibly smooth. There's not the hydraulic Chris Reeve feel. No, it's just bloody smooth. And then you can zip them open. So, I mean, it's great to be so ambidextrous because if you're on a ladder, you're doing hard work and you're like, you know, on the, you're wrong handed because you're holding something with the other hand when you're working. These are amazing. They really are amazing to use. And don't be afraid of Aus 10. I've been very impressed with that steel. You can get specialty steels out there. I've seen it in D2 
which is what this one is in. I've seen it in the 3V. I think there's some in, he was even a run of Magna Cut they're working on, which I would love to get. This is the only knife I've got multiple versions. This one's in 3V. I freaking love 3V. It's one of my favorite fixed blade steels, and I've always wanted it in a folding knife. I had the big brother to this, which is too big. It was too big, too heavy to be useful. This is thin. It's an extra ounce over these, which to me is just fine. Very pocketable. It's very thin. 3V is crazy tough. Oh, absolutely love 3V. No, it is not a stainless steel, but it is, yeah, it's pretty close. You get a good finish on there. It, it doesn't rust very easily, so love this knife. Love the titanium version. I honestly would suggest they're expensive, so don't, don't get me wrong. The titanium is not necessary. It is very cool. It makes it feel like a very expensive knife. Even though I think probably even these in Aus 10 feel a little overpriced, but you are technically getting the strongest locking mechanism and the most fun and fidgety locking mechanism out there. What does that mean? I think it's worth the price. I really do. Um, what, how does this really compare? Well, it's like, this is my other, this EDC that I carry pretty much. If I'm not carrying a Demco, it's probably this thing. This is the Chris Reef Um Noom Zon. And it is much heavier than the Demco. So don't, don't be afraid if you think the Um Noom Zon's a little too big. No, this is quite a bit smaller in comparison to it. Let's get the camera down there. Well, there we go. Um, so it, it's definitely lighter than the Um Noom Zon. And it, ugh. Are these not like the best EDC carry knives out there? Oh my gosh. I just absolutely love these things. Absolutely amazing. Feel really tough. Feel really nice in the hand. There's just something about that weight that titanium gives. It's just enough to feel really good. Now, one of the downfalls I thought of the big brother of this knife was it just looks like a toolbox. <laughs> you spent that much money and it looks like a bloody toolbox. It doesn't look fancy at all. So if that's the case, there are some smooth text, some smooth uh, titanium scales out there. This looks slightly less like a toolbox than the other one did, just because I think they changed up the pattern maybe a little. I could be wrong, but uh, it definitely looks better than the 8020 did. Maybe it's just because the fact that this is smaller and you have less of that pattern showing. But yeah, it kind of bothered me. I just made it look cheap. The big brother looks kind of cheap in comparison. So I don't know. I'm sorry. That, that is what it is. Sorry for the shadow play here. I feel like I'm really just in the way of the camera, but whatever. It is what it is, guys. <laughs> it's just a review. So anyway, if you're really looking for the 8020.5, I, I highly suggest this knife. Compared to the Big Brother, it's way easier to carry. It is way lighter, especially in the Grivery. And it just works. It just absolutely works. These are really good knives. Um, these are made in Taiwan. This is made in the U.S. The 20s are made in the U.S. The 20.5s uh, are all Taiwan, unless you get, I think, like a custom version. Um, so just, just know that off the bat. Does that really matter? No, Taiwan's one of the last, like, free countries out there around that side of the, that side of the pond, so to speak. They make really good, good, good knives. Now, I didn't get the other version because this shark version... It has a shorter blade, and you can see it just doesn't, it doesn't match up. Aesthetically, it doesn't quite look right. The good old Warncliffe bird's beak, I, it just seems a little funky compared to, you know, your, your regular drop point, which comes to the end there. So aesthetically, I do think the regular drop point looks better. But if you are just cutting packages, man, the Warncliffe is actually really, really good. Um... It really did surprise me how much I loved this knife. And I'd say if it's just blade shape and not aesthetics, I would probably pick this for everyday use more than I would the drop point. I never thought I'd ever say that, to be honest with you. But just for basic everyday use, cutting boxes, which I feel like is what most of us do, opening Amazon packages, that is the way to go. So, yeah, don't be afraid to try this out. Um, I'd, I'd give it a shot. You might really, really enjoy it. I always thought I would hate, ooh, hate Tantos, but man, the Chris Reeve Unum's on kind of changed my mind. And so did the Encosi. You got the Encosi that way too. It's just so good for everyday packages, which is, man, that's what we usually do. Man, it cuts super good. 
really, really surprising. Anyway, I guess this is kind of just a quick overview. I'm not getting massively into the specs. Okay, it's a little over three inch blade. It's like 3.2, through almost three and a half ounces. Not super heavy. This one's an extra ounce. It's great for EDC, guys. Really is. If you're if you're interested in it, you think, oh, I think I'd like that locking mechanism, just go for it. It really is the best fidgety, best ambidextrous, left and right-handed opening locking mechanism out there. These may not be the most aesthetically pleasing. I think the titanium really does take it up a notch, makes it feel expensive, especially with the locking mechanism. Very, very, very cool. I know they're kind of harder to get. You sort of have to see when the drops are happening, but now they're they're more out there. They're, they're I think anyone can get the grive reversions at any point in time. Just look at like different companies. You got Knife Center, DLT, Knife Ship Free. No, I don't know if Knife Ship Free has them, but um, Blade HQ I think has them too. These guys are just a little bit of everywhere. So you won't have too much trouble finding them. You might have a little trouble finding the titanium ones. The 8020s are, they, they drop and they go out super, super fast. So good luck getting one of those. And most of the flippers on eBay are going crazy with them. So just wait for a good drop. Try to show up, get one every other drop or so. You might get lucky and, and then snag the one you're looking for. So anyway, great knives. If you're looking, if you're thinking about them, if go for it. If you've not thought about them and this is new to you, the locking mechanism is truly next level. I think these came out in 2021 and it is, yeah, one of the best things. Well, I guess the 8020s came out way earlier, but um, yeah, the shark lock really is all it's hyped up to be. It's incredibly smooth. I mean, I'm not left-handed, guys. This is my left hand. I mean, this is all I'm doing. I've been doing this pretty much this whole thing left-handed. <laughs> it's, it's just so intuitive and easy to do. And man, it's a great knife. It's an absolutely fantastic knife. It's one of the best things that's actually come out in the knife world probably in the last decade. Um, you know, maybe Magna Cut, I should say, is probably the best thing, but as far as the locking mechanism goes, this takes the cake. Andrew Demko and his brother have just absolutely just nailed it. They, they have really nailed something new that works incredibly well. And that's a um, <laughs> good thing they got the patent on it because everybody's going to jump after this. And uh, I don't know when they patented it. So maybe 16 years from now, everybody else can jump on the bandwagon for the best locks out there. But <laughs> there it is. They have uh, cornered the market, done a fantastic job. Support them. I, they, they really, it is worth it. And obviously, I just love that they made this look like a, a casing from something that must not be named and a primer popped in it. Oof, oof, oh yeah, yeah, believe me. Trust me, if I say that word, <laughs> this entire video will be shut down because every video where I ever say words like that, that actually, you know, talk about something fun and useful that we all use for EDC, or that most of us should be using for EDC, uh, the video gets trashed. Thanks, YouTube. Thank you, your algorithm is absolutely wonderful and truly hates me and hates the rest of us on YouTube that like that topic. Anyway, if you can't guess what I'm talking at, well, sucks to be you. You should probably uh, read between the lines a little better. Anyway, <laughs> like, subscribe, especially after that, I should say, please like and subscribe. Uh, would much appreciate it. Uh, check out the, uh, the website. We've got some links on there for some of my favorite products. Yes, they are affiliate linked. It helps out the channel. Yeah, hook us up. Would definitely appreciate it. We'll be making some more fun content and bringing you some of the coolest stuff out there. So thanks. I will catch you all on the next one.